Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoid, and today is the 6th of January 2011, and Apple have just pushed out a software update to take Mac OS X up to 10.6.6. What this update includes is very exciting because it's the launch of the App Store, where you can actually purchase, download, and update apps via an online store, so no more dealing with disks or anything like that, or ordering software through the post. You can do it all on your Mac. So I'm gonna switch over to just my desktop view. I'm gonna turn my ugly mug off your screens and show you what the new App Store has to offer. So the first thing you're gonna notice after installing your 10.6.6 update is a new icon in your dock here, and this is to give you access to the App Store. Now it's very well laid out, extremely similar to what you would experience if you were um, using the iTunes App Store for your iPod, iPhone and, and iPad applications. But of course, these are desktop apps. We've got featured apps scrolling here uh, and sort of a scrollable list to the right. So these are ones that Apple are really pushing for you to purchase. We've also got some buttons at the top here. Now you can actually click these. At the moment I'm on featured, I can click on top charts and this will show the top paid apps, the top free apps and the top grossing apps. Also I can click on categories and this allows me to go into specific specific categories such as business entertainment graphics and design medical photography let's have a quick dive into photography and see what's in here so we've got photo uh, magic 03 17 pound 49 old booth 299 so plenty to choose from we can click back back on categories to go back to that uh, main menu sort of screen a lot of these are still not updated with little icons so you can see that Apple is still working on that behind the scenes. Your purchases are going to appear in this tab here and then last but not least updates are going to appear in this particular panel here. So let's go back to featured. Um, they have got iLife 11 here so I can actually click on this and it shows me the individual elements of iLife 11 and it's telling me I've already got them installed because I actually purchased this prior to the App Store being launched. Let me go back one step and I can see there's an Angry Birds. So, so tempting because I absolutely love that game. So let's see how the purchase of Angry Birds works. Well, I could either click on buy here and the price is £2.99. I can click this little drop down our own copy a link or tell a friend about the app. Or I can click on the app icon itself and this will give me uh, some details about the app. It's 50% off at the moment so I'm definitely going to make this purchase today tells me how many levels I've got also some screenshots so I can actually click through these screenshots so that's really nice and then some customer ratings down the bottom so I'm going to purchase this app so I'm going to click on £2.99 buy and it's asking me to sign in with my Apple ID so I'm going to blank this piece out for security reasons so I'm just having to agree to some different terms and conditions because these have changed with the Mac App Store and then it says installing so it's now installing the app in my dock down here I've got an updating icon saying it's downloading and now it's jumping in the dock to hopefully tell me that it's installed so let me have a look and click on this icon so it automatically puts the um, Angry Birds uh, game icon in the dock for me to easily find it and I can obviously reposition that as and when I wish. Now on here I've got some settings so I can the sound is on. I've also got some information here and a little click up arrow for sharing my Angry Birds play. Now, I'm not going to turn the sound on on this one but um, I'm just going to click play and have a look at the first level. It's going to be exactly the same I would imagine as playing it on the uh, iPhone or the iPad. Really really nice, nice and quick download just showing you an intro here it's funny not touching the screen on this because this is the first time I've played it on a non touch screen device so here we go I'm using this with an Apple trackpad so it's not giving me any sort of icon uh, to actually launch my birds with so a bit of a mixed experience on this one perhaps I should try using the keyboard so I can use the keyboard to move backwards and forwards 
and I can pull back on my trackpad to angle and then release to let go. So that's a little bit more convincing. So this is using a combination of keyboard and trackpad to pay, play this particular level. Let's go on to the next one. So my left and right mouse buttons allow me to move backwards and forwards between the um, across the play area. Can I zoom in and out? Doesn't seem like I can zoom in and out. Let's pull back on this catapult again and launch another one. And we go for another one here. And you get the idea. So that's Angry Birds downloaded and installed via the App Store. So let's quit out of this game. So I can Apple Q to quit out of the game. And let's go back onto the App Store interface because this is something that we're interested in showing you a little bit more of. I'm now going to look on my Purchases tab. And it does actually show that I have purchased on 6th of January 2011 and installed Angry Birds. So if this receives an update in the future, it should appear in this tab here. Let's go back to features. I'm going to have a look at um, some of the more um, uh, business-like applications and see if there's anything there that I would like to purchase. So rather than go on to featured, let's have a look at categories. And I fancy a look in uh, graphics and design. Let's have a look in there. So here we've got um, various things we can choose from. Quite a few free applications as well. We've got uh, Whiteboard Collaborative. We've got Website Planner, looks interesting. We've got Data Graph. So you have got some more expensive apps in here as well. As you can see here, Exact Scan Pro, £74.99. Some quite high priced apps available on the App Store launch day. I want to go back to um, top charts and see what the top free apps are and see if there's any productivity apps I'm interested in here. So this is a top 11 productivity apps. We've got Stuff It Expander, a well-known app. We've got Twitter, Sketchbook Express. Let's have a look at Sketchbook Express. So this is a drawing app, free of charge do basic layers, use up to six layers to, to build your drawings. We've got some painting tools here, that looks really good and this is a free app so let's click free and this should install it. You can see the animation there, the icon comes down into the dock and again it's downloading the application. And as that progress bar creeps along it's finished downloading and installing and it's ready to launch from my dock area. So I can click the application icon and this launches um, Sketchbook Express and I can start to get creative with this new app. So I've got pens and crayons to draw with. We've got a palette down here. I'm assuming this will bring open a palette and I can go into colors editor and I can actually select another colour and then continue drawing with it. I've got various pens I can draw with. I'm not going to create anything, uh, no masterpieces here, but just to show you how easy it is to download and install an application. So very, very nice experience. Uh, extremely easy to use. I'm going to Apple Q or Command Q out of this to quit this application and just give you one last look at the new App Store interface very very easy to follow very easy to download uh, to make purchases let's go into my purchases tab again just to show you it should now list that sketchbook express which was a free application from Autodesk back to my feature tab plenty of things to choose from even got the likes of Aperture 3 let's see how much they're charging for Aperture 3 £44.99 is what they're charging for Aperture 3 let me open my browser and let's go into the Apple Store and just see how much Aperture 3 is on the actual regular store if you were going to have it delivered to you on a disk. So Aperture 3 here 
173 pounds if you were going to purchase that and have that delivered to you and on the app store 44 pounds 99 that is a fantastic saving so there's some real savings to be had by making these purchases on the app store look at the difference in price 44.99 on the app store 173 pounds if you purchase it and actually have the disc delivered to you i'm just going to look at one last price for you even if you were looking at education pricing so this is the apple store education site in the uk let's have a look how much aperture is for an education purchase so not not a lot of saving actually 152 pounds 40 if you purchase it in the education store as opposed to like i said a, a short while ago 44 pounds 99 i want to just do one more thing on here and just see if i can search for apple and see what other applications apple are selling on the app store as you, as you know they're selling aperture i showed you that a minute ago and the, the other ones are just the iLife suite they're also selling iWork as well numbers and keynote and apple remote desktop as well so apple remote desktop is 44 pounds 99 let's go back to the regular store here uh, so that was remote desktop and apple remote desktop is 249 pounds on the main apps on the main uh, store for apple so 249 pounds if you choose to have it physically delivered to you or if you purchase it on the app store you're going to get it for 44 pounds 99 so again a massive saving so i hope you've appreciated this very quick look at the app store there's a good selection of applications available on launch day i'm certainly going to be spending a lot of time in here myself and I will be bringing you an update video to show you how this works out when you get updates, if it automatically installs them or if it prompts you to install them and exactly how everything pans out and any new and massive savings that come up in the App Store. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. Enjoy the App Store. It certainly looks very interesting. And until next time, have a great day.